Well, tonight, the national shortage of baby formula is pushing parents to search the Internet for resources. One Oldham County woman says be careful to avoid potential scams. Elizabeth Snyder says her family got tricked out of money, all while trying to find food for her nephew. She shares her cautionary tale with LAX 18 Sydney Darden. Who preys on a mother's vulnerability like that at a time like this? A question Elizabeth Snyder is still asking herself after she agreed to help her sister-in-law Ashley find baby formula for her infant nephew. Like many others, she scoured Facebook looking for Infamil Gentilese baby formula when she got a message from an account saying they could help. She said, hey, um, I have 14 cans of this Infamil Gentle Ease formula that my sister-in-law in Tennessee was needing. Um, where are you located? I can send them to you. Like She sent me a photo of the 14 cans on top of her refrigerator. Otherwise, I would have thought it was sketchy myself. Or I reached out to my sister-in-law. I was like, hey, this is great. This is what, this is what I found. You know, she's not going to charge us for the cans, just shipping. She's going to give them to you if you just pay for shipping. Which totaled out to around $50. Snyder connected Ashley with the supposed Good Samaritan. Ashley sent the money to a provided cash app account and waited for delivery. But after a few days, Ashley called Snyder with some bad news. Said, hey, I think that girl blocked me. I said, what? So I get on my messenger and I was like, Oh my gosh, like you just saw the, the gray silhouette of the head instead of her profile picture. She was nowhere to be found. Now, almost two weeks later, Snyder says her and Ashley are blocked from the account and still haven't received anything. She has left so many stores crying, stood in the Walmart aisles crying because she doesn't know how she's going to be able to feed her baby. We found the account believed to be the person who took Ashley's money. But when we reached out asking about the potential scam, we were blocked. Maybe she was another mother who had other things going on. Maybe she just really needed that $60 more than my sister-in-law needed those 14 cans of formula. In Lexington, Sydney Darden, LEX 18 News.